when it's raining outside, but you've still got to drive, what are the best anti cars for wet track surfaces in top drives? Hey, I'm Mike. This is a top 10 video. It's my opinion on cars in my garage for fun. It is just for fun. Don't worry about the cars that are in the list or the cars that aren't in the list. I haven't included any cars that I don't own. Therefore, if your favorite car is missing, it may be because it's not in my garage, so I can't comment on its greatness. As always, you can put that car in the comments below if you like. In this video, I'm going to list my favorite 10 standard tire cars. Standard tire cars are very useful in the wet, but they can also be incredibly disappointing when they underperform compared to their RQ. We may as well get it out the way at the beginning. This list will not include the Cadillac Lyric. I hate the handling number on the Lyric. It's just so poor and it means it loses regularly to epics. This car massively underperforms its RQ and therefore is not in the list. But of course, it's been very useful recently and it does fit a number of criteria which has won me prize cars. So it's definitely an arguing point. It's won me quite a few events, but I hate it. Anyway, onto the list. Starting off our countdown of the top 10 best standard tire cars in 10th place is the RQ75 Mazda 3 with four wheel drive. It's not got the best 0 to 60, but the high handling figure really elevates it when you need something for a G Force or a slalom track. Ninth is my rare representation. The electric Mini Shadow is a brilliant city streets car in the wet. In fact, it stacks up pretty well in the dry too. It's light and nimble. All its stats are nicely balanced for a standard tyre rare. Eighth place goes to the Caterham 7 at RQ65. Annoyingly for me, it's not as key as it used to be. So I've not used my copy of the Caterham much since I pulled it six months ago. It has won me races though, and it is a great car. Seventh position is the very light Caterham Super 7 600, which is an awesome super rare that could really save your RQ in an important event. A great twisty car for the shorter tracks, and it's a ton of RQ cheaper than the epic Caterham. In sixth is the Jaguar I-Pace, with its really low 0-60 of 3.6 seconds. The handling is less than the other RQ79 standard tyre cars, but that 0-60 often really makes the difference. It's a great car. Mine is 233 for the longer city streets track. It's hard to create a top 10 list without considering the Suzuki Mighty Boy. It definitely deserves to be fifth place in this list because it has an insane acceleration curve. The 0-60 in the handling figures don't look the best on the front of the card but the combination of medium, very light, and a crazy off the line 0-30 acceleration makes the Mighty Boy an obvious choice for wet karting circuits and small twisty tracks. No surprises with my car in fourth because it's the very useful Hyundai Ionic at RQ79. This has recently gone up a few points in RQ, so it's not quite as good a bargain as it used to be, but it's still one of the best standard tyre cars in the game. Third goes to the GMC Cyclone. This is a great looking and great functioning pickup truck. It has good handling and is my favorite option for a mid epic twisty track choice. It's possibly even better now that the Hyundai has moved up in RQ, leaving the Cyclone to dominate the mid 70 RQ standard tire cars. Solidly in the runner up position, in second place is the Cadillac CT6. I know it has more competition in the RQ79 standard tyre group nowadays, but it is still able to pull out the wins when you need them. I've had my maxed Cadillac for years now. It's got a very high win ratio. I wish I could pull a second one because mine is 323 and I'd love a 233 version of it. The top position in my top 10 standard tyre cars goes to a legendary. There aren't many legendaries to choose from, and many of them underperform badly. But this one is a beauty. The top position, first place, goes to the RQ86 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6 RS. Crazy as it may seem, 
I maxed the second Lancer for a recent Tri-Series. So I now have two Max Legendary Lancers, both at 233. Its handling figure is the key to its success. It can get around corners quicker than any other standard tire car in top right. Nobody cares about the low top speed as it's not a fast track or drag strip car. This is the standard tire car in top drives to aspire to own. That's all I've got. Put the name of your favorite standard tire cars in the comments. It'll be interesting to read them. It's time to go now. It's over. Get yourself out of here. We are done.